What's up everybody? So before we get started with today's video, we are so close to 100 subscribers. And for my 100 subscriber special, I'm going to be doing a good old-fashioned Q&A. So before we hit 100 subscribers, go ahead and leave some questions in this video, as well as when I get to 100 subscribers, all the videos leading up to that, so I can compile all the questions and put out my 100 subscriber Q&A special. Ask whatever you want, I will answer it. All right, on to the video. So today we're going to be discussing what I thought of the Super Gornas Master level. And oh my goodness, this level is fantastic. It was so exhausting, so difficult. Actually a little easier than I thought it was going to be, but it was still very challenging. It wasn't exactly challenging in the sense that, oh, here's a tyrant or here's a doom hunter. No, 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 no. It was a tyrant and a doom hunter in a little tiny room with another tyrant immediately spawning after killing the first tyrant. These encounters put a lot of pressure on you, and they're changing up the dynamic quite a bit. Um, also, keep in mind, this will be spoiling the entire level, so if you haven't played it, you want to go in cold, don't watch this video. The fight with the two marauders in the toxic waste, that was pretty cool as well, because you have to learn how to use your meat hook to get around them. You have to manage not only your health and armor, but you also have to manage the fact that you have this hazard suit that you constantly need to be go grab, and so there's an added resource uh, management element right there and an added sense of stress and pressure, which its software is very good at making the player feel uncomfortable, which is fantastic. Tentacles are everywhere in really, really annoying trolling locations, which I absolutely love. And heavies are almost as common as fodder almost, it feels like. There is a room with a bunch of carcasses and a buff totem and then a bunch of hell knights, and it just feels like... Its software is trying to be super oppressive with the enemy spawns, but it is 100% uh, doable. I was able to deal with most of these arenas after dying a couple times after I sort of knew the layout of the level. Let's talk about the big final fight because that part was absolutely insane. I think it was either five or six tyrants and three arch vials. On top of that, I believe the arch vial has been brought back to its original strength. Now, I haven't discussed this before, but I believe its software nerfed the Archvile uh, because the Archvile no longer spawned Power Demons and it didn't spawn uh, Heavies and Super Heavies. It did spawn Heavies, but it didn't spawn Super Heavies. Anyway, the Archviles and Super Gornest, they spawned a bunch of Empowered Demons, excuse me, a bunch of buffed demons, like with a buff totem. They were super fast, super oppressive, and there were three at once, so they were all spawning a horde of demons at once. It was super just insane. You know, when I uh, had my first successful run of that area, I BFG'd one of the arch vials, I crucibled the other, and then I ice bombed, um, lock on burst, rocket the other one. Just narrowly avoiding death before getting the glory kill on him. And that arena was absolutely insane and a ton of fun. It's software is like, all right, you guys know how to play this game, so we're just going to throw demons at you and watch you rip and tear until it is done. And the ending was fantastic as well. A constant buff totem as you have to run past super heavies. Super incredible. And the last part with the two uh, empowered... Excuse me, I, when I say empowered and buffed, I really mean that vice versa. So, um, But it's technically buffed because of the buff totem. But two buffed marauders at the end, that was absolutely just stupid. Uh, yeah, so you know, this level, um, it's, it was really fun. It was really challenging. I'm looking forward to unlocking that gold shotgun skin, a nice reward. Um, just a few of the bad things about this level now. So now we talked about what I liked about it and... Um, what I thought about and stuff like that. Let's talk about the not so good parts. And that is how buggy the level was. I had to reset myself multiple times because I got stuck in a room um, and the just mission wouldn't progress. It's extremely frustrating and a friend of mine couldn't beat it his first time simply because the level was being retarded on him. So please, it's software. These issues have got to be fixed sooner rather than later. But that's only a minor issue, but it was pretty game breaking. But overall, this level is a lovely lovely master level, the hardest master level by far that we have received. I would argue it's harder than the Ancient Gods Part 1, and it just had a lot of really insane fights and just a super fun to play. I'm looking forward to uh, going through and repeat playthroughs and playing Classic Mode, which I didn't do much of, but that looks pretty cool as well. All right, everyone, so that's the video. Again, if you guys haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to get me to 100 so we can do that Q&A. All right, everyone, that's it for now.
See you later.